All right, I wanted to take a minute before I close this motor up because I just am getting ready to put the magnets in it, but this was an induction motor, I believe, uh, from an AC unit. It's a 230 volt. I don't know if you can see this, but it is a 230 volt, 1 15th horsepower, uh, 50 amps, um, 60 hertz, RPM 800. So I thought that was interesting because it was a low RPM, fairly, um, but 50 amps and still a high voltage. So I should theoretically be able to get a high voltage output from it. So the bearings, of course, were shot in it. Uh, that's why I was able to acquire it. So I had these old skateboard wheels that um, when I took the old bearings out, they were just the ones that had the just like the cotton in there. And then there was just a metal ring in there, basically, and the shaft just just spun inside there because the cotton you would lube up or whatever, and, and it would constantly grease the joint, um, the fitting area or whatnot. So I took some skateboard bearings and took them all apart and, and basically took all the grease out of there and made it where it's got a, a greaseless lubricant in there. Um, it might not last long, but for right now, it should work pretty dang good. So then I cut the skateboard wheel in half and I was able to finally get these to wedge in where the old bearing used to sit. And there was another ring inside this that went around this, but once I compress that in there, now the ring won't fit in there, but the bearing is nice and snug. So it worked out pretty good. Um, so that basically replaced that bearing right there. And then um, you can see on the inside here, I have another piece of the wheel. And um, that bearing right there is actually supposed to be slid out. So I'm hold on. Let me see here. I don't think it's supposed to be on this far. I'm pretty sure it's not. So technically there was supposed to be a C-clip on there, but I lost it, obviously. Um, so I couldn't get it back on there. I probably could find another C-clip. But I just really want to get to testing this motor to see what kind of output it has. And I don't want to take much of your time. So we're going to put this back together. So yada, yada, yada. That side has the C-clip on it, so it's good to go. And look at her spin. For the most part, it's not bad. Compared to what it was, it was completely locked up. And now it's somewhat spinning. That bearing's not doing so hot. Um, it really slows it down. But it's still considerably good, um, considering. So I'm still eager to try it. So... I'm going to see if this thing even works without even putting magnets in. I just want to see if it's going to spin freely once I put it back together. And hope for the best. No. It's not. Okay, why not? Okay, what you got going on there? Oh. I don't understand. There's got to be something going on here. I'm not sure why it feels like it's got freaking magnets in it already. But it doesn't. I'm 
Oh, that does great. And look, I got that joker pretty well lined up. And once this bearing spins great, then I might be on to something. Oh, okay, we got our bearings pressed in there. I see what's going on. Let me see if I can't fix that real quick. Hmm. Just hold tight. Let's see if I can't get this off of here. Yeah, our bearing seal's all jacked up now. Great. Oh, well, we got a minute. If you wouldn't mind, take a minute to, if you like this kind of stuff, um, I'll be doing a lot more. Um, I'm training to... Uh, I'm learning everything I can because I have a urge to be an electronic engineer. So I've been lurking, learning and experimenting a lot with energy and renewable energy. And the very bad phrase I hear all the time, free energy. Um, basically, if they stop sending power down the lines tomorrow, I want my family to be okay and whoever else I know that I can help. So, with that being said, if you like that kind of stuff and are interested, I would really appreciate it if you liked and um, subscribed to my channel. And I have all kind of good stuff coming. I got a water wheel down in the creek that's finally going. I got some solar panel stuff I'm going to be doing here soon. And other than that, I'm diving into wind power. I already have a windmill that is functional. I don't get the right amount of voltage out of it to optimally charge batteries, but I am getting voltage out of it and it spins all day every day so that's pretty cool um anyway so i got that seal off and that seems to have fixed the problem i'm going to double check and put this on here and see if maybe that's where our issue is oh shit Just, uh, Oh, look at her go. Yes, that is most certainly what the problem was. That damn seal. And you can see, because I shoved that thing in there, it kind of got it all set a little bit. But when I drilled the holes, which I'm about to show you, when I drilled the holes in the rotor, I went ahead and grinded it down just a little bit, brought it away from, um, away from the stator a little bit, so that way it gave me a little bit of play to spin freely in there and so far I'm happy with it so as for the rotor cool I drilled my own holes in it none of these holes were in there it was just a solid rotor of course and I took it and I drilled all these holes and which was very much a pain in the rear I will say that and anyway I've got these awesome magnets thanks to I want to say magnetsforless.com. Uh, I'll double check that. Um, well, the, oh, there, here we go. From magnetsforless.com. That's um. It was a pretty good site. Fairly priced batteries. I've got some other ones that are really cool, that are, man, these stokers are strong, they're like high heat, high rating, but they are fragile, I've already, just playing with it, I broke two of them already, but these are going to go inside of a, man, I can't even pull these jerkers apart, uh, they're going to go inside of another motor project that I'm doing uh, after I finish this one, um, really cool little rounded, uh, basically, they look like, gosh, they look, man, you got careful they're trying to pull my hands together but they they um look like little dc motor batteries and i'm going to use probably six of them because i have two broken ones and i'm going to put them in another similar motor like this it's actually over there and and instead of doing it this route i'm going to see if i can't just grind down the edge a little bit and put these on there glued on there around the stator ow shit excuse me um, around the rotor. Man, these suckers are get you. They are no joke. And they're supposed to be high heat. Really cool. Definitely, definitely strong magnets. So if you order from them, uh, you don't have to worry about that. 
And the ones for this motor are really awesome. I love them. There's also some other cool projects with a SWG generator or Searle effect generator that I'm I'm doing, which is why I ordered these, but I had some left over from that project, which will be coming soon, by the way. Um, really cool stuff, the Searle effect uh, generator. You really got to check that out. Um, but anyways, that's coming soon. Uh, pretty excited about that. So, if everything... If everything works out... Oh, God! If everything is like I think it is, these guys should theoretically go all the way down in here. Come on! Am I still not deep enough? Okay, so that's repelling, so that means it's the same. So we want to go down that. Okay, guys, well, it looks like I still have some work to do. Because my magnets are not going all the way in. Man, these jokers are longer than I thought. It is taking a lot of work to get these holes in this rotor. If only these were just a tad bit smaller. It'd be cool if uh, this would fit in there like that because that would work really well. Alright, we're we'll pulling to the opposites. But you can see the concept. Man, I gotta go that much deeper on all of them, I bet. Crap. Ah! So, we want it to be north, south, north, south, north, south. Um, I've heard that people do it other ways, but I have yet to experiment with that myself. So, I'm going to do what I know is no best. And that is going to be the magnets have to be put north, south, north, south, north, south, north, south, north, south. Crap. North, south, north, south, north, south, north, south, north. No! No! I have the wrong number of magnets, I guess. Because that's not going to work. I'm going to have two double north magnets. Oh well. Crap. I wonder if I can squeeze two. No, because then it won't be weighted right. Man, these things are fragile, though. I will say that. If you if you let them clank, you know, you stop paying attention and they pull over to something, man, they'll break. It sucks. Makes me so mad. Now they're going to be, you know, once you break them, then you try and put them in something like this. And your rotor's going to be out of balance. Not that this one probably won't be already, but... I mean, probably will be. Okay. So, I've got some drilling to do, which sucks. I'm tired of drilling this thing. Oh! Surely that broke. No, it didn't. Okay. Man, these jokers are strong! Oh. Did you see that? I mean, that is just absolutely insane. Really strong magnets. I'm excited. Ow, man, see, that's my finger got stuck to him. Okay. We're probably better off just leaving it out. Man, how did I manage that? What an idiot. Opposites. Great. I'm an idiot. Cannot believe I drilled the wrong number of holes. I just took the amount of coils. Um, I actually counted all the all the little bars in there, and I know that there's one coil per two bars, so I divided that by two, and it gave me like um, I think I had 19 total coils. Um, so then I divided that by two. Because obviously I'm, I'm not trying to squeeze 19 of these big magnets around there. So I divided it by 2, so it would break it up in half, and I got 9, so that's why I went with 9 magnets on here, which I feel like was the right thing to do, but now I don't know why the north-south and north-south is not going to work out because of the odd numbers, so I guess I guess you got to have an even number on your magnets um, in order for that to work. I never really thought about it like that. This is why... Experimenting and testing is so valuable to your knowledge. You learn so much 
by physically doing something. I can watch YouTube videos all day and you learn all kinds of stuff. Don't get me wrong. You learn all kinds of stuff. I learned all kinds of, uh, three, four months ago, I knew nothing about generating power or, or anything of this nature at all, really. I knew how to use an electric motor. Um, I knew what an electric motor was. I knew what a gas generator was. Um, but I never really understood how this stuff works until now. Now I can tell you almost every, every, you know, type of, a part on a circuit board from transistors to diodes to you know all that stuff and I knew none of that literally none of that three or four months ago and it's just it goes to show there's so much information out there these days if you don't reach out and get the information you want really you're it's your fault um, yeah that's your fault because it's right there and it's so easy to get and it's free and you have no excuse if you don't know something or you want to know something there's no reason why you can't learn it. Now, you've got to keep an eye out for, you know, obvious bad information, but um, that's something you're just going to have to take up with your judgment. Anyway, so the idea is once I get these stupid things in the rotor all the way, bam, then they are going to go in here, and I'm hoping that this thing is going to generate some serious, serious power. And I'm going to do a windmill with it. Uh, I've got a windmill design, which is not here right this second, but it's around. I'll show you, but right now, let me get to drilling, and I'll be back.